Nicki Minaj. So it came about and everyone was like, oh, she's got a good butt. I would love to see more of her butt. But it's Joel Domit and Hannah Cooper Domit, everyone! Yeah! Yeah! And that's Very what nice. good-looking people should do. Do an audio-only thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is not funny. <laughs> hey, well, look, you guys are doing set together. Firstly, can I just say, Joel, yeah, obviously I've met you a million times, so whatever, yeah. right? Meh. Hannah, lovely to have you on the show. First episode of your podcast, Never Have I Ever, was released on Global Player. Cheeky plug to download the app as well. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, now it, I've got to say, like, you guys, obviously, you've done TV shows in lockdown together. I mean, what, what made you just want to go, let's do a podcast? We got bored. <laughs> we got bored in our marriage. Yeah, <laughs> we got it genuinely married. is a bit like that vibe, isn't it? Like we kind of came out of lockdown, and we were like, felt like we were doing the same things. We needed like more of an excuse to go and do things together because we like like each other. We like our house, mm. and we like hanging we? out and watching shows. I love Ben Day. <laughs> And it so, was, yeah, it was getting a bit tragic. The, the repetition, Netflix, we completed it. Yeah. Like, it was just, I was sick of Joel's, like, I'd heard the same story so many times. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, we need to create new memories. Yeah. And we thought, if we do it contractually every week, like, it will force us to get off the sofa and do stuff. Genuinely, so, we've, like, been enjoying it so, so, I'm not just saying this. I've been enjoying making this podcast so much and it's just been so fun and even I hope people listen to it but even if they don't listen to it I genuinely think it's like made our marriage better. Aww. Don't pretend you don't care if no one listens. <laughs> I also care if people listen. <laughs> How many listens? Oh, we're number one in Hungary today, babe. <laughs> He's going to refresh every day. Yeah. So I... let, me, um, let me get my head around it, right? So it's Never Have I Ever which is a game we're all familiar with. Mm-hmm. We've played it many a night out. Um, but is it you two just finding this out about yourselves? Do you have guests? And is it about listeners asking you this question? So it's, Joel comes up with a suggestion every week. Myself, our producer and listeners can like pitch in their suggestions. Some things obviously one of us has done before, but there's a lot of things that we haven't done together and experienced. Yeah, it's basically anything we've never done together before we okay. can do. And uh, Mad it's, or boring? I mean, so first episode... We go to a strip club. We've never been to a strip Brilliant. club together before. I see. Together, How was that? Joel's been. I've, Joel's I've been. frequented They recognise me on the door. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I've got guest list. <laughs> and uh, they were like, Joel, your usual chair? And, uh, <laughs> and so, uh, it was, uh, I'll, yeah. I'll be honest, it wasn't as sexy as, no. as people think it is. It was awkward. It was, we went to Magic Mike first to sort of balance okay. it out. Okay. And uh, this is the funny. This, uh, Magic Mike's like the gateway drug, though, isn't it? Yes. The, yeah. Yeah, it really is. It is so good. And Joel I, had a way too much of like I had a way, good time. I had so much fun. Did they recognise you on the door there? <laughs> <laughs> Normal seat, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> I was like shh, 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 and uh, I was uh, I, I wore one of those uh, watches that sort of does your heart rate oh, and stop. stuff because I like fitness. He's that guy. Yeah. I'm that guy, and I had it on. <laughs> this is the funny oh, thing. No. My heart rate was higher for. Magic Mike than it was for the strip club. <laughs> so, wow. you've learned something about yourself there. Eh? Really he loves learned musicals. Something. That's what go. it is, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it was wow. the good music, guys. Yeah, it was the good music. <laughs> Still not as high as the table, though, was it? Um, <laughs> so, is this the most rock and roll part of your podcast, or is does it get you know, worse than a strip club? Well, I, mean, I think we're trying to not lower the tone too much. So, yeah. we try to, like, every other week, it's a bit... We balance okay, it out. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, we then did yeah. weightlifting, and then, weightlifting. then I did a colonic... Oh no! I balancing a, it out. Balancing it out. I did a. Colonic. We want to go together. We do. Yeah. <gasps> to get colonic together. Yeah. yeah. You have to. Would like, you recommend in it? The same room or? Yeah. Same know. room. Same yeah, time. Hold hands. I, same tube. It's same, same tube. tube. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I don't know, dirty seconds. <laughs> Bugsy first. <laughs> it is one of the weirdest experiences of my entire. I make. I've, I've made audio. Oh no! And I make audio, okay. and it's one of the. It's one of the weirdest things. Is this an episode to look out for? Is this episode oh, three? Oh yeah, mm, I, I think, think it's three or four. Okay. And and like that. Oh, you'll know. Oh, you'll yeah. know. Did you also check your heart rate on that as well? Did you uh, enjoy that one? Weirdly, lower than Magic Mike. <laughs> Because <laughs> Joel, you texted me something this morning that I thought was really funny. <laughs> so, oh, no. do you want to tell everyone what you you noticed about our chat? Suddenly, I, I texted you and I said, "Ah, oh, I'm really excited to see you today." And then I realised the last message I sent you was, "I'm really excited to see you today." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> basically, our entire text chat is really excited to see you today, or like, great to see you today. <laughs> Are you not replying, Robert? No. Oh. No. It's been hard to no, get, aren't you? No, no, yeah, exactly. I also, exactly. I also I feel, I don't know whether you guys feel this every morning. I, I, I kind of always knows whenever I'm going to do a TV show with you or anything because I wear like a cool hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, I like, you know, like non uniform day at school. That's yeah. what Joel's like around Roman. Like <laughs> suddenly I just like wear like, a, like an expensive hoodie from an expensive. I'm like, I'm trying to look cool in front of Roman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love this. We're so excited about this podcast, by the way. Obviously, it's on Global Player. Others are available, mm-hmm. like, you know, uh, Sue Perkins, Spencer Matthews, uh, Capital Breakfast, Roman Kemp. Um, he's yeah. saying that yours is better than ours, guys. Uh, or uh, 100 Are we going head to head? Yeah. Ours, yeah. ours yeah. once made it to number 17 in the Hungarian chart. Oh, oh. we're big and hungry. Big yeah. and hungry. <laughs> big and hungry. <laughs> uh, dude, look, it is fighting talk indeed, and I'm glad uh, you guys have warmed yourselves up because up next, you two are about to take on Roast Roulette. Oh. Are you ready? I as ready as I'll ever be because okay. you know you know me and my comedy. I'm a big old roaster. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for these jokes from this guy. <laughs> now in front of you, you can see a big wheel which is gonna spin and it's gonna randomly land on three separate celebrities. Okay, then it's up to you to roast them. So you make jokes about them. Just just destroy him. I'll Basically, my, this is your opportunity I'll, I'll to get away with it. I try my best. It doesn't really destroying people with this voice doesn't really <laughs> work well. Yeah. I'm looking well. forward Hannah, to it. you can't get away with this either. You gotta get involved. No. Yeah. yeah. You gotta bring out your mean side. No. Hannah's, I'm the nice one. Hannah's the nice one. <laughs> she could be my um she could be my hype man. Yeah. yeah okay. I'll do the jokes and every now and again she go, Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Have some of that. Yeah. 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 Or, 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 or actually Joel was a bit far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't think that one landed. Yeah. I also, this is like your world. I don't, I don't want to like step on your toes. Oh, because no. if, if I was funnier, yeah, that, yeah, would, that would be. Like, be I've heard you are funnier, Hannah. It's genuinely, when doing this well, podcast, people are like, honestly, people find Hannah so much funnier than me. It's absolutely. It's I'm like, actually playing the O2 next week. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I yes. was better at beauty blogging. There we go. It right. would be live it. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Hannah's like, you get yourself cancelled, not both of us, all right? <laughs> yeah. right? Are we ready to spin the wheel? Yes, let's do it. Go. Who's it gonna land on? Oh, oh no! no! Okay, so he joined us on the show on Monday to promote his film, The Lost Daniel. City. This is Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe. I love Daniel Radcliffe. That's a terrible way to start a roast. <laughs> I love Daniel Radcliffe. He he does have the squarest head in the world, though, doesn't it? It's the squarest head. It's almost like someone's put glasses on like a speed camera. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's, he's an interesting... Also, this is an interesting point. With Harry Potter, he's obviously Harry Potter. I always thought, isn't it weird that, like, he's the most powerful wizard, but, like, he can't fix his own eyes? Oh, that's such <laughs> a good point. That. Like, I th- really I thought, thought like, at the end of the final movie, he'd be like, uh, I spell he arms. <laughs> <laughs> Laser eye Patronus. Or something like that. <laughs> right, very good, very good. Hannah, do you approve of that? Approved. Not been cancelled so far. No, funny. Oh. Fit uh-huh. pretty yeah, that okay. right? <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. All right, let's, let's see uh, who's up next. Here we go. Ooh. Nervous. <sighs> oh. The love of Roman's life here. Uh, star of Mamma Mia, Pam and Tommy. Uh, it's Lily James. Lily James. Mm. Watch what you say about my princess. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so scared. Okay, um, so Lily James. Lily, Lily James, I, I assume... It's a fake surname. It's like a stage for it's Lily James. Lily James. James is not her real it surname. Could, I hope it's not a middle name. It's it's who do you think? It's Lily James. It's on a fake. Can we look up for you? Oh, yeah, look it up for me. The because it's I not dis- her real name. There we go. No, it's not. It's Lily Chloe Nanette Tom- Thompson. I oh, disagree with wow. You should with know people. that about your future wife. Yeah. Well, yes. it'll just be Lily Kemp, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Lily Kemp sounds, sounds like a wonderful flower, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, this is Lily Kemp. is my favourite. It goes wonderful with next to the, uh, the Alionis. <laughs> and Lily James, I just disagree with people who, who make up their... So, I think you should have the name that you are given... You know, it's like, like it's not your real surname. Some people make up their first name and their surname, Sonny J. But it's, uh, <laughs> you can't, it's unbelievable. Lily James, she also, did it, is, am I correct in saying this? You'll know about this from, um, when they were filming Pam and Tommy, they, uh, apparently she 
uh, sort of uh, wore out 50 pairs of prosthetic breasts. Apparently so, while yes. While playing it. I love how you went, you'll know about this, right? Yeah. How many breasts this. did she get through? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should move on. Maybe we should move on. <laughs> who's, who's up next? Let's have another go. Here we oh, go. Have a spin. Okay. Okay. I thought you wouldn't know who that was. Is that, is that, it's a, they've got glasses covering up a lot of her face. Yeah, to be oh, fair. Oh, it's Nicki Minaj. It, it is it, Nicki Minaj. It's given away the fact that her name is written in between. <laughs> <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Minaj, the old, man, the old Nicki Minaj. Menage a trois in French means threesome. Yep. Um, Menage Nicki in French means tiresome. It's good. <laughs> 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 um, she is. She's, I feel like I've seen all of her body. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. feel like I've seen. There was a moment where everyone's when she she was first she came about and everyone was like, oh, she's got a good butt. I would love to see more of her butt. And then we she showed her butt. In all of her videos, the whole thing, we were like, I'd like to see less bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see a little bit less bugs. Very good. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Very good. <laughs> Very good indeed. Let's <laughs> leave it there. <laughs> Hannah, do you approve of the roasting? Oh, that last one was risque. Was it yeah. risque? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fine. Hey, look, thanks so much for joining us, uh, both you, Joel and Hannah. Make sure you listen to their brand new podcast, Never Have I Ever, on Global Player right now. Let's hear it for Hannah and Joel, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasure.